Okay, I'm doing a split the positive thing now. They use three batteries, two in series for 24 volts. That's this one and this one. This over here. So there's 24 volts of batteries right here. The green connects the two. This battery's doing nothing here. So it's just two batteries hooked up. You take the positive of this battery, connect it to a battery down here. You could call this the charge battery, the low side battery. And then the ground of this battery connects to the ground of those two in 2024. 20, this is what I'm doing right here. Here's the two batteries in series. Here's the charge battery. Grounds connect. And the positive and the positive has the load in between. And the load is this motor over here, the dual rotor motor generator. And uh, I originally did it like this. I thought this is how it was done and I blew up a voltage regulator and then I over here and then I did it over here and it was running on 33 volts. It was weird. But here you see this is how I thought it worked. 24 volts and then you have the positive go to the negative and then the positive go to the negative so there's never a ground more or less. That's not how you do it. I actually got on the internet, looked up Bedini, split the positive thing. And this is it. You're splitting the positive. That's why they call it that. Okay, what I'm doing here, uh, kind of using modern day science, I got a DC to DC booster, and it puts in 12 volts down here which uh, is being supplied by this charge battery so this charge battery is being charged by being 24 volts over 24 volts on top of 12 so the differential of about around 12 volts is what's running this uh, so and then I set this you can have the output of this be a lot of different uh, voltages all the way up to 84. Just twist this little knob here. So I set, have it set at 25.6. 25.5, sorry. So it's like 24 volt batteries and then I have it a volt and a half over. So this is supposed to be supplying power to this so that this booster can shoot back into the high side the 24 volts and charge those and at the same time the differential of these being 24 volts with a load in between is charging this battery so there's kind of a fight going on between this battery being charged by the differential of 24 on top of 12 and this booster from the charge battery going back up and charging this and what I'm seeing is the uh, voltmeter right now is across the charge battery. And it seems to be dropping in volts. And let's see what's happening with the, uh, 20, the two batteries in series over here.
Yeah, they're going up. 26.13 volts on these, and I started out at 25. You can see 12.4 versus 12.6. Let's watch this for a little while, see if that 0.13 starts to go up. And anyways, the voltage is higher there than when I started out on these these two series, which is good because that would be what's draining a lot should be what's draining a lot in this system as it pumps through the motor into the other battery, splitting the positives. Well, I don't know, that's kind of stable there. Let's, let's look at some other stuff. Look at the differential. This is what the voltage the motor is running on. It's a differential between the 24 volts and the load and the positive of the charge battery. So this is like essentially the voltage over the motor. So the motor's running on 15.14 volts, one whatever it is. That's the voltage into the motor. And Let's go back here. Eleven point three eight. So this is the charge battery. So like I said, it's getting charged no matter what because it's got twenty four volts going into a twelve volt battery with this motor in between. And but we're we're sucking away power from this into the booster going back on the high side to the 24. So what else can I do? We can look at some amperage. Let's see what the amps is coming from these 24 volts into the motor. Just one minute. Okay, I hooked up the meter and amperage, DC amperage, and it's 220 milliamps, 210 milliamps coming from the positive of the 24 volts worth of batteries, the positive into the load of the motor. Whoops. Same thing on this one. So I'm, I'm measuring the uh, what's coming from the 24 volts into the motor as the load. And that's right here. And there it is, 210 anyone's interested. Okay, I'm going to measure what's coming back from the booster into the into the 24 volts. Like, here's the booster uh, 25.5, 26.5 volts. I set the booster at and we're, we'll see what's coming into these batteries from the booster from here to there. So that would be on this. Uh, that would be like from the booster here, the positive going back to the, sorry, the booster here, the positive of the booster going back to the positive of the 24 volts. See what we're chugging back. One minute.
Okay. We're measuring the amperage going back to the 24 volts from the booster positive into the positive of that 24 volts and it's 370 milliamps so that's pretty good Three hundred and seventy milliamps plus twenty six point five twenty five point five volts or whatever it is twenty five point five going back and three hundred and seventy milliamps. It's pretty steady. That's what's going back into here coming from the booster. Now, let's see what's going from that charge battery to the booster, from here to here. See what that is. We know it's 370 milliamps going back there. It should be another 370 milliamps, but I don't know, so let's find out. Okay, one minute. Okay, wow. Look at what it's sucking out of that battery, that booster is. 1.2 amps. It's going back into the battery. It's coming out of the battery going to the booster. We're now looking at this charge battery here. And I have the ammeter to the positive of the booster from the positive of the charge battery. That's interesting. So that's a lot of amps being sucked out of that battery. So let's look at now uh, where would we look now? I guess what's coming out of the load to the battery. The charge battery. Okay, I'll look at that now. So this is actually going to be the ground of the motor. Is it's what comes out of the motor, DC motor, and so it's going to be the ground of that going to the positive of the battery. And that would be this white wire right here, so that's what I'm going to look up. Again, we're going to measure the amperage from the load to the positive of the charge battery. I imagine it's going to be about 200 milliamps like what was being drawn here, but I don't know what it's going to be. Who knows? So, hold on a sec and I'll check this out. Okay, I guessed right that time. And it's the same amount of amperage going into the motor as the load as what comes out going to that battery. So that's interesting. It's like the battery is getting sucked out of it 1.2 amps while it's getting rammed into it uh, 0.22. Two hundred twenty milliamps. So that's interesting. If that's possible. So let's uh, let's go back and see what how far down this is dropped. I'm sure this is being drained. This charge battery is being drained down. Maybe there should be some balance where it doesn't drain down so much and 
you don't boost so much back here. I don't know. So let's see what this voltage is across this now. Okay, one minute. Okay, the charge battery. This one here. It has the 24 volts on top of it. It has drained quite a bit from 11.1 .1, from 11.43 or so down to 11.17. So this battery is being depleted. Now let's look at these two up here what the voltage is. Okay, the two batteries in series, the high side that's uh, feeding the load and also getting pumped back through the booster from the charge battery, that is stable. 26.13, that's what it was a little while ago. So that's good. Now let's look at the differential between what the motor is running on. Let's look at what the voltage is across the motor, which is I'm going to measure from here to here, from the positive of the 24 to the load. No, I'm not. I'm going to look at the voltage from here down to here across the motor. What the motor is running on right now. 15.25. I believe that's what it was before. So it has the same differential going down. Let's look at this uh, charge battery one more time. What is the voltage on it? Eleven point one three. Well. You know there's an amperage setting on this booster. There's a voltage setting and there's an amperage setting. Maybe I can turn down the uh, booster amperage setting so it doesn't suck so much power out of this uh, charge battery. There's an idea. Okay, just one minute. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to stop this uh, experiment. I just had a wire burn up. I don't know why either. Where was it? Got some smoke. My wife's going to be pissed. Smells like smoke in here. What's burning? It was the meter wire. From the meter. I don't know what happened. I'm going to call it a, a video. Okay, thanks for watching.